place yourself in a comfy, cozy position. Close your eyes and take a long, slow, deep breath. And as you breathe out, relax all of your body. Now take a deep breath in, in through your nose. And slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth, pushing all of the air out of your lungs. And again, big deep breath in, in through your nose. And gently breathe out through your mouth, pushing out all of the air. One last time, big breath in through your nose and then slowly and gently breathe out through your mouth. Now just relax and let your breathing come back to its normal rhythm. Just feel your chest rise and fall gently. Now imagine that you have roots growing out from the soles of your feet. Roots that just look like the roots of a tree. Very long roots, very wobbly roots, very knobbly roots. And you can feel your roots growing down deep into the ground. And you can hear them as they push their way through the soil. Really feel the soil under your feet. This is grounding you. And this keeps your energy planted in the ground so that you too can grow big and strong just like the tree. Now imagine a beautiful white light surrounding your whole body. A light that's so very bright and shines so deeply, so strongly. And it shines much brighter than the brightest star. This beautiful pure white light is protecting you and it surrounds your whole body every single inch of your body now be very still and imagine that you are a robot Imagine that your whole body is made of metal and is very shiny and sparkly. And you can see that you have lights on your arms, red ones and blue ones. You even have flashing lights too. And these lights are also on your legs and your body and they are flashing very brightly. You can hear sounds too. Bleeping sounds and beeping sounds. And you sound really very noisy. So you begin to walk. Stiffly at first. But you walk with a clanging metal sound as your feet take big booming steps on the ground. And it's only now that you've realised that, well, you are a robot. So you take a look around to see where you are. You see other robots, very large robots, a lot larger than you, 
and they too have flashing lights and are making all kinds of strange noises. They look a bit scary, but because they are so big, that's the only reason. But they're not really. They're really rather nice. Some of them are silver coloured, while some of them, well, they're kind of multicoloured. And there are robots of every size, every shape and every colour. And they are all clomping around in their heavy metal boots. You can see very large buildings with great big doors. Well, they have to be, to fit the robots in. Can't fit in otherwise. So you decide to take a look in one of the buildings. So you walk over with your big, shiny silver feet clanging on the ground. Your lights are flashing and you are still beeping and bleeping. As you are about to enter one of the buildings, you see something peeking out at you from behind the door and you wonder what it is. And as you get closer, you see that it's another shiny silver robot, just like you. This one is also the same size as you two and not scary at all. He steps out from behind the door and gives you a great big robot smile. It's kind of a crooked smile, but it's a nice smile. He tells you his name is Little Blotto. That's a strange name. Okay. And he tells you that he is named after his dad, who is Big Blotto. Very strange name. He tells you he has a mum and a sister too. And he tells you quite quietly that he has sneaked out. He's supposed to be doing his homework, but he would rather be outside playing. So you look at him and think, Okay, I'll play with you. The two of you decide to go in the big building together, just to see what's inside. So you quietly open the door and step through it. Inside there are lots and lots of noise, lots of banging sounds, lots of beeps and bleeps, and lots of flashing lights everywhere. You both get a bit scared, so you run and hide behind a big table and just watch what's going on. You can see lots of other robots all zooming around, all carrying things from one place to another. And you wonder why they are doing this. They are carrying boxes, lots of boxes, big boxes, medium sized boxes, smaller boxes. There are also big sacks everywhere full of other boxes too. Only these boxes are very small. Some of the robots are busy filling sacks with boxes and then giving them to other robots who are then putting them on a truck just outside the two great big doors. And as you hide behind the table, you and little Blotto, a skinny, smaller robot wheels past you. This one doesn't have legs. He has wheels instead. And he's whistling to himself as he rolls past your table. And it's then that you realize that at the back of his wheels are two very large brushes. He is sweeping the floor. As he rolls by, all of the litter gets swept up by the brushes and into a cylinder on his back. And as it enters the cylinder, you notice it comes right back out of the top again and back onto the floor. Oh dear. 
the little robot doesn't seem to notice this and he just carries on sweeping the floor. This is going to take him a really long time to clean up. So you and your new friend, Little Blotto, decide to sneak around and explore. So for a few moments, just go with your little friend, Blotto. Have a look around and see what else is happening. See if you can figure out just what it is that the other, bigger robots are doing. See if you can find out what's in the boxes. Go and explore. Time for you a little blotto to leave this magical place because it's time for little blotto to go home now because he really must finish his homework so as the two of you chat about all you have seen you go back out through the doorway and you did have a lot of fun did you find out what was in the boxes? Did you see everything you wanted to see? I hope so. So you and little Blotto now part ways. But he tells you 
it would make him very, very happy if he would come again and see him. Maybe next time you can go and explore this land of robots and find out what else they do here. But for now, it's time for you to return home. So you wave goodbye to your lovely new friend and tell him you will be back really soon. So take a deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Take another deep breath in and slowly breathe out. Once again, deep breath in and slowly breathe out. And remember, whenever you come back here, anytime you want, you can play with your new friend, Little Blotto. But for now, wriggle your fingers and wriggle your toes and then slowly open your eyes. <laughs>